Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about a very useful program that orients the NXT perpendicular to a black line using two light sensors. So you'll see here, you have my very crude drawing of an NXT with, say, this red uh, oval here representing motor C's wheel and the blue one representing motor B. This is uh, the default configuration uh, for the motors if you mount them upside down, which is the the natural way that it is done. Uh, in keeping with that sort of reversed order, I put light sensor 3 on the left and light sensor 2 on the right. Now I put light sensor 3 uh, fairly close to the ground, <clears throat> only a couple of millimeters off of the ground and in front of the wheels. It helps if light sensor 3 and 2 are both uh, centered relative to each other. That means that neither one is further away from its respective wheel than the other. So I would not want to say move light sensor 2 over to the left. That could uh, throw it off. I'd like to leave it uh, more symmetrical. Now we're going to talk just briefly about how the what the NXT needs to do um, in order to actually accomplish this feat and more specifically how what it needs to do in order to accomplish this feat very precisely. Now let's assume that your NXT is already fairly close to the line, uh, as you see in this illustration, but it may not be lined up quite this well. Uh, so you have four different possible combinations of uh, input from your light sensors. You can either read what it's seeing as white, or read what it's seeing as black. Um, and that is dependent upon a number of different things, but today I'm not talking s about the light sensors specifically. Um, so, if both light sensors are over white, clearly the robot is far enough away from the line that it needs to go forward. So, in the case when the left light sensor and the right light sensor are white and white, um, we're going to need to go forward and forward. Um, I'm actually going to abbreviate and just hereforth refer to white, white, or white, black, black white or black black as the different inputs from the light sensors that is the left one and then the right one it is a lot lot easier to say um, also similarly if I if my left motor is going forward and my right motor is going backwards I'm going to say forward backwards I could also say turn on a dime to the right but forwards backwards helps when you're trying to control each motor individually so let's take a look at this graph that I uh, put up here. Again, very crudely drawn. That kind of talks about what we need to do when the left light sensor and the right light sensor have different inputs. Um, this sort of a graph here, by the way, is... Well, it... it it, you'll see this sort of thing again, depending upon what uh, what you choose to study in college. Now, when you both the left and the right are white, both the left and the right motors want to go forward. Now, clearly, when both are black, you need to back up. So you're going to want the light sensors to ultimately rest somewhere between black and white you want the program to terminate at that point. Now, what happens if, say, your left light sensor is on black, but your right light sensor is on white? Well, this would happen if your NXT was tilted. Like, let's imagine that this is the NXT here. All right? In that case, it would need to turn to the left. Yes. Not very good with paint. And apparently I can't delete that. Oh well. So, when you see black-white, you're going to need to turn to the left. In order to turn to the left, this motor is going to need to go backwards, this motor is going to need to go forwards, which is backwards-forwards. Similarly, when you have your robot over on the other side, like this, you're going to need to turn to the right in order to align to it. Uh, now, 
if you look carefully here, you'll notice that the, when the left light sensor is when the left light sensor is white, the left motor is always going to be forward. And and when it is black, it is always going to be black, uh, going to go backwards. In fact, for any motor, left or right, it is going to go forward if and only if that light sensor is white. And thankfully, this actually creates a very, very simple um, type of program that we can set up. So let's start working on that now. Now, clearly, this is something that we're going to need to do multiple times. So we're going to use a loop. Uh, loops are pretty much the the, the hallmark of any serious uh, NXT program, as far as what what as far as uh, what you'll see in competitions because they allow closed loop control systems, which is uh, something I'm not going to really go into this video, but are really cool and useful. So the first decision we need to make, and of course decisions are made with switch statements, the first decision we're going to need to make is whether um, the left light sensor, and again that is on port 3, is white or black. Now we're not going to worry about the compare threshold here. Um, we will actually end up replacing this in a more advanced version of the program. I thought it would be useful if I would go ahead and put this out here before I finish the uh, finish presenting the advanced version. Now we only need to control the left motor. Did I say right motor? And right sensor earlier. Um, we only need to control motor C with motor with light sensor three. So when it is white, it will go forwards, and when it is black, it will go backwards. So if I copy this over here and just change the ports, so that the right side is handled as well. This program, if you run it, will kind of, sort of, achieve your goals. Now, the major problem here is that it is going to go way too fast, and your robot, depending upon its design, is going to knock around quite noisily and loudly. Quite noisily and inaccurately. It's not necessarily going to end uh, exactly where you want it. In fact, with this loop being set to forever, it's never going to end. So if we change the time to uh, just a few seconds, say three, it will work a bit better. But for testing purposes, testing purposes only, let's leave it on forever. Because uh, it can be really telling to watch its behavior if you watch closely.